Hey what's up everyone, I hope you are doing well, this is Jack from Byprogrammers.com and welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Talk For A Bit series. Today we are going to talk about 5 most frequently asked questions that we have received over the past 3-4 to four years of maintaining Byprogrammers page. With that being said, let's get started. One of the most frequently asked questions that we got is which programming language should I learn? Now this really depends on what you are trying to build. If you are interested in game development, chances are you will need to use a game engine which basically makes your life as a game developer a whole lot easier by taking care of physics, user input, rendering, and so on. Different game engines might be using different programming languages. For example, Unreal Engine is using C++ whereas Unity is using c -sharp. Now for mobile apps, it can be further drilled down into native and cross-platform apps. To put it simply, the difference between native and cross-platform is that native apps are developed exclusively for a particular platform whereas cross-platform apps are compatible with multiple different platforms. So if you would like to develop specifically for Android, then you will need to learn Java and Kotlin. If you would like to develop specifically for iOS, then you will need to learn Swift and perhaps some basics of Objective-C. On the other hand, there are actually a number of different frameworks that allow you to develop cross-platform apps. To name a few, React Native uses JavaScript, Flutter uses Dart, and Xamarin uses c -sharp. Lastly, for web apps or web development, it can be categorized into front-end and back-end. If you are more interested in dealing with the look and feel of your site, also known as front-end development, then chances are you will need to learn JavaScript as most of the popular front-end frameworks such as React, Vue, and Angular are all based on JavaScript. However, if you are more into back-end development instead, there are actually quite a handful of different frameworks for you to choose from. For example, Laravel, Symfony, and Code Igniter framework requires you to write in PHP. ASP.NET or ASP.NET Core will be based on c -sharp. Django and Flask will be based on Python and so on and so forth. Now for those of you who just want to get to know more about programming and don't know what you're going to build yet, I would strongly recommend you to start off with Python as this is a general programming language with a more user-friendly syntax. Alright, the second question we have here is how to choose a PC or laptop for programming. Again, this really depends on what type of development you're into. If you're into web development, be it front-end or back-end, all you need is a medium-spec PC or laptop with at least Core i5 processor and 8GB RAM to kickstart your journey. If you're interested in building mobile apps, chances are you need to get a slightly higher specs of MacBook or iMac or Mac Mini. Personally, I would recommend you to go for a Core i7 processor, 16GB RAM, and 256GB of SSD storage as it really takes up a lot of resources while you're building Android or iOS apps. The reason why you need to get a Mac specifically as a mobile developer is because you will not be able to build iOS apps by using Windows. If you're interested in game development, then you will certainly need a high-specs laptop or PC with at least Core i7 processor, 16GB RAM, 4GB GPU, 512GB SSD storage, and you will also need a great display with a minimum resolution of 1080p, color accurate, low response time, as well as higher refresh rate. However, if you are just getting started and you just want to learn programming, there is actually no need for you to spend thousands of dollars just to get a new workstation. In fact, there are quite a number of online courses that come together with an online IDE so that it won't put too much burden on your computer. Alright, the third question we often get asked is whether computer programming is hard to learn. Actually, around 8 years ago when I was in my uni, I asked the exact same question to my lecturer and this is what he said. If you were to ask Messi is it hard to kick a ball, Messi will most probably tell you it's not because he had been training hard for many years. Now if you were to ask me whether computer programming is hard, I would say it's not because I have been coding for many decades. So what my lecture was trying to imply is that programming may be intimidating at first, but the more you practice, the more you become better at it. Fast forward to today, in fact we also think that it's actually not hard to learn how to code. The most important part of learning a programming language is to understand its underlying concept and syntax. With this core knowledge in place, it will be a lot easier easier for you to pick up another programming language as the concepts are pretty much similar just that the syntax and perhaps the convention might be different. If you are a junior programmer, one good tip for you is that you don't need to memorize any sort of syntax whatsoever because this is not an exam. In fact, most of the senior programmers search on Google for simple syntax such as for loop, if else and so on every single day. 
To put it simply, you just need to get the concept right in the first place. Now the fourth question we got here is do I need to learn multiple different programming languages? Well the answer is yes, we will need to know a couple of programming languages that are related to our job scope. To share with you my own experience, when I was working as a software developer in a very big company a couple of years back, I need to familiarize myself with C Sharp for the web application, JavaScript for the mobile application, as well as SQL to work on database related issues. In other words, it's really insufficient to master only one programming language in today's competitive world. Alright, so the fifth and the last question that we get asked at least a few times per month is can you help me to do my assignment? Despite the fact that we truly understand it's really not easy being a computer science student as you need to tackle a couple of different units at the same time with a very tight timeline. But unfortunately, we can't help you to do your assignment because you will not be able to learn anything and it will only do more harm than good. What we can do is that we can point you in the right direction if and only if you have put in the hard work and do your research beforehand instead of just sending us your assignment question paper without doing anything else. Alright, so we have just talked about 5 most frequently asked questions that we have received over the past 3-4 to four years of maintaining by programmers page. So if you have any questions or you have anything to add on, please comment down below. If you like the video, be sure to hit on the like button, share it to your friends and also don't forget to like and follow our page or channel for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy coding. Peace.